Well, welcome back to the Phoenix Park, and now it's time for the eBay.ie Historic Challenge. Jackie Corkin on pole position alongside him, Jim O'Reilly in the Porsche. But look at that little load of seven of Billy Crosby. Fantastic. Look at the Porsche off the line. Really stayed with Jackie Cochran's Tiger. Very, Ed, very quick car. Ed Cassidy very late in the brakes. Richie Redmond did quite great, great variants of cars down. And we're on board now with Eamon Ledwich in the Crosley 9S. He started right at the back, but a very potent motor car. Just watch him on the straights. He's coming through Team PR Riley corner now. That's Nino Forte and the midget on the right straight by him. O'Reilly's taking the lead as they go down towards eBay corner. And Billy Crosby in third, then Ed Cassidy, Richie Redmond. Then that's Jonathan White taking over his father, Dick White's TR6. Another very quick car. We're on board with him now, down to first gear for uh, eBay corner and gets it out of shape, grabs second gear and that's a very potent RS2000 in front but he is gaining on it now as they head up by the Orden survey towards FM 104 corner. This is a great onboard shot now, fourth gear up approaching 100 miles an hour in these old cars and yes, that is a Mark 1 S car. He's going to have a look down the right hand side and stays on the bar there heading up. It's a little bit hard to get your braking point coming onto the main straight now at FM 104 corner but he was very late. O'Reilly it is still leading, Arnie. Yes, he still has the lead from Jackie. I'm surprised at that but maybe Jackie's just waiting for the tires to heat up. Eamon Ledwich now out on the main street and again watch the straight line part that's Conor O'Brien the Cooper S then it's Liam Murphy in the Volvo next up he's going to have a look down the inside no room there oh shaking the fist there I think they uh, may have had a territorial dispute here comes the Tiger headlights on some people say this car has 500 brake horsepower only it certainly has a lot of power it certainly goes like that I mean Jackie's a fantastic driver I think he was maybe just waiting till everything heated up now Eamon now roaring down towards eBay corner here rushing past the MGB but obviously lifted off a bit early. That's Caroline Casty, great young driver. She's as late on the brakes as you can go straight back by the 9S. This is Jonathan White again in the TR6. And as we said, great cars in this class. No two cars the same. And he's having a go now at the Sunbeam Tiger of Ed Casty. He'll be doing well to hang on to that in the TR6. He sure is. This is a heck of a good going TR6, but he's driving it really well. I mean, he's a lot down in horsepower in theory, but he's really stonking up here as he goes out towards FM 104. Yeah, very quick car in a straight line. He usually drives a 3.1 Capri, but he's uh, fed up being called Terry McCann. Decided to take over this TR6 now, and really going well in this historic race. Ed Cassidy getting the work over as they come out onto the main straight. You'd expect the Tiger to be quicker. It doesn't look at Arnie. No, he, he braked earlier in the middle of the road, and that let him have uh, Jonathan have a better line out of the corners to go down the main straight now. He's still hanging in there, and he could be in, in for an outbreaking session here. Yes, but Ed Cassidy very experienced holds the middle of the road and it looks like a struggle to keep this TR6 in the straight line never mind make a move a lot of work on some of these historic cars but they're very very quick into second gear now that's out of uh, PR Riley's corner heading towards the cat rental chicane Ed Cassidy doing well to hold him back certainly a lot of pace in this car I don't think people realise just how hard these cars are to drive, but it's going to get bumped as it comes down into the chicane. That's Vinnie O'Reilly in the midget there, uh, run by uh, Alan Kessie, and uh, no fault of his own, just getting caught in the middle there, and uh, Jonathan White will be a little bit perplexed with that. We'll just look at the big eyes in the mirror. He'd be absolutely furious, but there's nothing he can do about it. He's got to be careful now going down into eBay that he doesn't have to break himself and end up in the mud like so many others. Great battle of the minis now. That's Willie Fenton in the MGB. Conor O'Brien in the Cooper S out in front to Willie Fenton for his annual outing coming now. Then Orla Cassidy in the black midget. There's Paul Dalton, that beautiful little Fiat 128 SL. He's put a lot of work into that. And it's going very well around the Phoenix Park to stay ahead of these minis. They're very powerful little minis. A lot of work done to them. These minis are brilliant. They're very fast, well-sorted out cars. As we go down towards e eBay now, this could be anybody's corner. Back with Jackie Corker now. Headlights ablaze as ever. Great sound from this car. Very much a favourite with the crowds. And as you said, drives it so well. So he's back at the front where we expect him to be. We're on board with Eamon Ledwich now. He's going down the inside of one of the midgets as they head towards eBay corner. Very late in the brakes. A little bit too late. Straight into Orla Cassidy. I think that's the warranty invalid in that car. <laughs> well, you know what to say. It's uh, Sometimes you, you're racing Saturday and you sell on Monday. Well, maybe we'll have some more bits to sell on Monday. Well, Caroline Cassidy, very lucky not to get caught up in that one. Had to go grass tracking to stay out of the way from her cousin and uh, Eamon Ledwich. Heading up towards the finish line now. Jackie Corcoran takes another Phoenix Park, winning the glorious Tiger. So Jackie Corcoran, Jim O'Reilly, Ed Cassidy, Jonathan White and Pamela Corcoran.